What's up, nerdlings? What's up, nerdlings? It is another batch of mail and mail. Do you nerd? Hey, nerdlings! It's Jazz of Nerdy Blazing Cosplays, and you're watching Do You Nerd? Mail and mail. Okay, so yes, we got a couple more packages. Now, one was a uh, part of a trade that we knew about, but there's a little more to it than that. The other was a gift. Someone was thinking of you, oh, actually. Maybe. Now, just as a heads up, I mean, we've been doing a lot of mail and mails lately because we've been making a lot of deals, doing a lot of trades, stuff like that, buying dealing. some stuff, uh, getting some fantastic gifts from people in the community. And honestly, the reason why we love doing these videos is to kind of shout out the yes. community because the fact that, you know, people are kind enough to even think of, of us anytime to give us gifts or anything. But then the the deals, the trades, I mean, that's so cool. And it's like, I'm always trying to stress that to people. That's what the community is all about. You know, especially with like collecting being so hard to do, like everything's stupid expensive. I had no idea to be so much, I won't pay it. Especially now. Yeah, but the nice thing is, you know, you find someone in the community, it's like, hey, I don't want this in my collection anymore. You know, you make a trade or you get a good deal. Mm -hmm. And it's like, that's where that magic happens. So yeah. This is just our little way of saying thanks to the community and keep being so awesome. <laughs> You're breathtaking. You're all breathtaking. On that note, let's start with the gift. Now I have zero idea what is in here. This is from Virusy. Now this is a great channel. See a lot of great pickups on there. I say great pickups. I mean, jealous of some of those pickups because he finds some amazing stuff. When this arrived, I was like, uh, I hope it wasn't supposed to be this flat because it's very flat. It might have been squished at some point. Afraid I may have sat on it at some point, but... He wouldn't tell me what's in here, but oh, no. he did say it's not a plushie, but it's, it feels kind of well, plushy. Well, it is now. <laughs> I do not see a note. So no I note. think I know what these are. I believe these are Hogwarts house oh, banners. Oh my, wow, these are huge too. I recognize Ravenclaw. Okay, you know what, I'm, I'm, I'll just, I'll stand up and be, I'll be your lovely model. So first and foremost, we have the best house, Hufflepuff. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, these are cool. This is a, a great material yeah. too. This is like, uh, what, what is it's it? It's definitely like, a... like flag material. Like, Did you know that the Canadian flag is made from special material to make it last longer? So what is so great about Hufflepuff? Well, first of all, we're very accepting of everybody. So we don't pick and choose. We like to accept everybody in it. But one of the best things is our house is right by the kitchen. So you can always smell what's cooking for dinner or for lunch. And if you're hungry, you just kind of pop next door and get some food. Good, good colors in a badger. I mean, you don't want to mess with a badger, especially an American badger. An American badger looks like a British badger on meth. <laughs> We have Gryffindor. <laughs> <laughs> Not a Gryffindor fan, apparently. They're fine. They're just, you know, I think they're they're overhyped. Do you have a favorite Gryffindor member? Probably Sirius Black. They say that once you go black, well, you never go back. I mean, I'm I'm just gonna have to, you know, go with Hermione. Sorry, it's it's Emma Watson. You <laughs> know, <laughs> Hermione or her Heine. I'll put some wizards in you, cause that's what weaselies do. There's a house with some class. And if you don't think so, I'll let my father know about this. <laughs> Fun fact, Tom is a Slytherin, and I have come to learn that most Slytherins have a Hufflepuff. Most of the time when you find mates, it's usually a Slytherin with a Hufflepuff. I'm not I sure why that works out. I wonder why that is. Even though she may be a Hufflepuff in the streets, I'm a Slytherin in the shoes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a Slytherin little snag. I'm so Slytherin sneaky because I'm a snag. And then Ravenclaw. Honestly, I think Ravenclaw is the best colors I do, though. I like the blue and the silver. I've always liked their crest, even though it's, it's 
a, I think it is a crow, not actually a raven. But anyway, uh, ravens are very smart. My sister is a Ravenclaw. These. Favorite Ravenclaw is my favorite character in general, Luna Lovegood. Oh, there you go. I'll tell you mm -hmm. what, uh, Luna grew up to be quite a cutie yeah, too. Yes, she did. <laughs> this is awesome. These are great. We're going to have to find somewhere where we can hang these up. We don't have a lot of wall space. You know what so. would be great is if we had a castle, then we'd have a place for a tapestries. I know, and castles have tapestries. Dance, this is a castle, isn't it? There are tapestries. This is a castle. And we have many tapestries. Yes. Virusy, thank, thank you, you so, so much. This is awesome. Much. Obviously, huge, huge Harry Potter fans. Yeah, you so. uh, you found a good home for them, being that we're the Harry Potter fans that we are. Whoa! <laughs> oh my! Oh, this is a very special occasion. Okay, the next one is the trade that we had set up. This is with VKQ Interests and Adventures. Now this family friendly and family formed YouTube channel does all kinds of stuff, which is why they're so much fun to watch because just like us, they're constantly going to events. And of course they have so many things that they collect from cards to video games to toys. One thing that they were collecting were the Mario coins uh, from the wonder ball so not only do you get that chocolate but you get an actual yeah. metal coin we have had we got a few i think maybe like one or two yeah we didn't have very many they finally got the full oh set, wow though. and <laughs> that's going, a lot of chocolate well yeah, yeah. <laughs> did you guys send any of that oh i'm not supposed to eat sugar mm, it's really good you're the devil but going for that full set, they had some duplicates and I reached out and I said, hey, uh, if you don't know what to do with those duplicates, you know, maybe we could trade for something. And we figured something out that they were interested in. So we're not going to spoil that. Thing is, though, obviously, this is a little big for just yeah, some coins. Yeah, this is some big for some coins. That's what she said. <laughs> you know, I'm a little nervous, though. Because a little ways back, we played a game with them and uh, got interesting. Yes, yeah, a little bit of a jigsaw action there. Yeah, so I'm, I'm, I'm kind of afraid. <laughs> There's a note written in the box. Oh. Do you nerd? Inside is not only some Mario Gold, but a few things we thought you would like. Oh, and we could not send a box without playing a little game. Oh, no! Hope you enjoy <laughs> the biggest nerdlings in Oregon, VKQ Interest and Adventures. Did I call it or did you, I call you it? You did call it. And by the way, I think that they are the biggest nerdlings in Oregon. So if anyone else is in Oregon that wants to contest that, you know, speak up. Oh, no. So right here on top, we have a little paper bag. Game. <laughs> Inside is an item that can reside in either Tom's Zelda collection or Lacey's plushie oh. collection. Flip a coin to decide. <laughs> oh, no. do, you, do you have a coin with you? I'm sure we will in a minute. Okay, good point, good point. <laughs> All right, well, for starters, it looks like we got some plushies. This like Beetlejuice? Oh, it's Willy Wonka! Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> that is adorable! <laughs> That's Willy Wonka! And we've got the Gene Wilder Willy Wonka version. Not the uh, Johnny Depp version, which is no offense to Johnny Depp. I do enjoy his quirkiness, but this was always my favorite Willy Wonka. <laughs> Fun! I didn't know they made a plushie. Well, it looks like he came with a girlfriend and an interesting one out of that. Tiffany from Chucky? <laughs> oh my gosh! You keep weird company. And look, she's, she's got, got her, her Tiffany necklace on. She's got a little beauty spot. I will say, doesn't quite have the um. Mm, that oh, Tiffany are, does. are you saying they should have made it a little plushier? A little plushier, yes. <laughs> if you hadn't said anything about my breasts, nobody would have noticed them. You said that if I hadn't mentioned your breasts, no one would have noticed them. Can we show a still, please, Dana? I think I prepared a still. <laughs> I mean, Jennifer Tilly's known for three things, her voice and then her two So they punched you in the throat because you sound like that? No, he punched me in the throat because I sound like this. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> no. Time's not been kind to her. <laughs> okay, so here is a Wonder Ball oh, box. Oh, chocolate. 
Oh. And I believe that is full of Yay, coins. coins. So we have a Game Boy Color game. We've got some Dragon Quest love here. Now they are Dragon Quest Dragon Warrior fans in that house. So I'm surprised that they let this go, honestly. And I see a two. I don't speak Japanese well. <laughs> so I'm going to translate this as possibly uh, Dragon Quest Monsters 2, maybe? Because he is walking around with a bunch of creatures. Nice. Their business card, and they saved us the trouble and already, oh, it's already a made it a magnet for us. Nice. Sweet. And we got some stickers. Some Jason. Oh my gosh. Some slime, some Chucky, and Kirby. I love slimes. I feel bad that Chucky's only in sticker form to, to be She's with She's got him Tiffany. now. That's, that's Gotta true. say, I kinda, kinda wish this was a redhead because then I could just say it's me. <laughs> <laughs> I love slimes. Ever since you introduced me to them, I just love them. Well, we have a, we have a very chubby Pikachu here <laughs> and a bunch of- He ate all the lightning. A bunch of Japanese words. I don't know what's happening here. Oh. We have some kind of stand. And like some little cards, little Pokemon cards. I don't understand this language. It's too many squiggles. Future Tom knows what to do. He's going to ask our resident Pokemon fanatic, Sega Head, what is this all about? Go. Segort. A Pokemon question? I'm gonna need help with this one. Go, Eevee! <laughs> Lazy fox thing. Anyway, that item you have there, Tom and Lacey. Very interesting item, yes. It doesn't look legit though. It looks like it's an unofficial Pokemon toy. Korean, I believe. The writing's difficult to take out. And yes, as you can tell from the side of the box, it's ripped off from Pokemon Sword and Shield. It's tough to tell what it is. Because it's not official, there's nothing you can really Google. I've tried looking online already and, uh, couldn't find anything, so I can only give you an educated opinion. Judging by the plastic thing that you put the weird little cards in, and the fact that it's got all the images on the back of the box of how to stack them and stuff like that, it looks like it's some weird form of Pogs. Do you remember Pogs? It, it looks like that, if I'm honest with you. You put the card in the thing, then you take the card there, and you go, I uh, 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 won or lost, I don't know, because I can't Korean. So there you are, there is my educated opinion of what that is, maybe. Poker Pogs. Hell, that probably already exists. I, I need help getting out of this. Are you awake yet, Evie? <coughs> Evie, we do. <coughs> we do, <doing>, Evie. <coughs> Now, I mean, he, he's the pro in my book, so I'm willing to believe that. Tom, whatever you do, do not listen to that dude. He is just weird. Instead, let me consult Mini Pikachu and we'll find the answer. Pika Pikachu, Pika Pika. Pika, 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 So according to Mini Pikachu, those cards are actually from another dimension. A dimension where Miyamoto was the creator of Pokemon. And he didn't call it Pokemon, he called it Chin Pokemon. And these were the original designs, the original cars that he presented to Shintendo. But instead of becoming the international phenomena that Pokemon did in our dimension, Shin Pokemon became an absolute laughing stock. And those cards were lost to history. However, legend has it that parallel Miyamoto was enraged with fury and imbued these cards with a magical power. For whoever was to own it would be able to cross and control the entire 
multiverse. But Tom, that much power is too much for even someone as mighty as yourself to hold. So I will do you the favor. I will take the brunt of that responsibility and I will look after those cards in my Pokemon collection. And I will not try to take over the multiverse and collect every single Pokemon item that has ever existed across all of time and space. I promise I won't do that. Something that Keith over at VKQ loves are his cards. And he sent us okay. a bunch hey. of card packs. Hey. I, I knew you were I going to look at that. In there. Just, oh my gosh. It's uh, sealed. Okay. Well, we got some turtle cards here. What's Hashtag eat the gum. What's the year on this? 1990, by the way. You get that side. Oh, great. Well, you're the ding dong who puts the whole thing in your mouth. Thanks, guys. Thanks. I don't want to eat the gum. Oh, man. Did you hear that? It's like eating rocks. <laughs> like a lot of rocks. It tastes electric. I did not care for that gum. Yeah. Uh, Ick. Donnie with a camera? Donnie with a camera. He's like us. He's like, I'm in. I'm doing YouTube. Oh, hey, there you go. And it's one of those cards that you would make a full picture out of. Those are always fun. I was always a sucker for those. Ooh, we got some homies cards here. Homies. Anyone remember the homies? Oh, man, this is taking me back. Do you guys remember the homies figures? I feel like that's mm -hmm. what I remember more from the homies. I just have to know. How much do clothes cost in the Matrix? <laughs> <laughs> We've got some Fern oh, I love Gully Fern Gully. Cards. That was a very underrated movie that most people I think have forgotten about. So these are some great cards. Looks like it's depicting some movie scenes. I gotta say, this bat, he looks like he could be a long lost cousin of Bartok from I Anastasia. I know, look at that one. Yeah, well, I mean, give it time. I'm sure they'll probably remake it or something. Probably go live action with it and, <laughs> and all of that. <laughs> live action, <laughs> kiss me. And some play caps, the game. And it says it's got one slammer. Now there's something in here and I'm guessing it's not gang, like not pogs? gum. Like with I remember slammers were with pogs. They are basically pogs, so pogs here. And yeah, you've got your slammer. But look, I got some cool pogs. Elf pogs. They're last. Six TV trading cards. And it oh, perfect strangers, family matters, a full house. <laughs> it's a rare condition this day and age to read any good news on the newspaper page. Love and tradition of a grand design. And Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen looking like they're about to say, Come play with us, Danny. No offense, but they're not my favorite Olsen. Oh, I know. I know your favorite <laughs> Olsen is. I feel a storm growing. <laughs> oh, these are the, the fun little stickers that come in the oh, Wonder yeah, Ball. So nice. some nice Mario stickers here, which is great. Fun. And by the way, the, the last cards here, um, Portfolio's Secret. The Elite Force. So I'm, I'm curious to take a look at these, although we may not be able to show these. Now, back in the day, I used to collect a lot of trading cards, and I do remember seeing at the comic book shop stuff like uh, actually Playboy cards or uh, works of art from Playboy. So like you had the Vargas, the Olivier stuff. Looks like here we've got some bikini clad beach girls. Kind of makes me think of like uh, play, the swim, Sports Illustrated Swimsuit Edition. The they're double-sided, did you notice that? And the, they're different on each side. I think my pick of the pack is Alicia Guzman here hey, that's on funny, the beach. Because that's mine too. Oh, <laughs> see, some pot of girl right there. Yep. You know, the other thing that these girly cards makes me think of is uh, some of our time spent in Vegas whenever yeah. we would collect the flipper cards uh -huh. and then we'd get back in the room and be like, so do you have this chick? Oh, nope, nope. All right. Well, I'll take that <laughs> one. <laughs> you pervert. Let's get into the meat and potatoes of this trade, nice. which is the Mario coins. Again, thank you guys so much 
yes. for being willing to make a trade with us. So clearly they didn't even open the ones that they already had duplicates mm -hmm. for. So these are great. I really love that Nintendo did this, you know, put these character portraits on these nice metal coins. Yeah. Because what a fun collectible. I mean, I know this one That's definitely. That's my favorite, Rosie. By the way, I learned from them that you can send off for a book that will hold all of your oh, coins. Oh, that's neat. We should totally do that. And then I especially love the fact that Luigi, my favorite, uh, is the special coin, so it's all green. How cool is that? All right, well, who's going to flip the coin, you or I? Oh, you can do it. All right, well. Oh, I'll no. Use, I'll use the bob. Oh, no. So, bob -omb. Or we'll say Mario. Okay. What's it gonna be? Mm, ba bomb. Woo! It's mine! I guess it's hers. Isn't the marriage contract what's yours is mine and what's mine is mine? Yeah, it feels like it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I know how, how you wanna cute. say this, so go ahead and say it the way you want to. Look at that little Link. Isn't that I, a cute I, little Link? I knew it. <laughs> you just love to say little Link. Little Link. It's a cute he little Link. He's adorable. <laughs> Although, I mean, Captain Algebra probably wouldn't think this one's that cute. Son of a... Come on. You may not like the game, but at least you gotta admit, the plushie <laughs> is cute. He is absolutely adorable. And if not, he'll stab you. Oh. All right, well, wow, thank you guys so much. Again, VKQ Interests and Adventures, link in the description down below. We set up a trade for some Mario coins here, so we're sending some stuff their way. They packed it full of all kinds of other goodies with some fun cards to go through, very nostalgic yeah. cards to visit here. Some plushies because they know how much Lady Lacey loves her plushies, and even one for me whenever she's not looking. Well, at least I, at least I got a game that I'll have to. You get a game. I'll have to flip a coin to, to select anything because I won't be able to read it. <laughs> and once again, thank you so much, Virusy, for the gift of the tapestries, so we can have our own little Hogwarts great hall. We can, hall. yeah. So again, uh, links to Virusy in the description links. as well. Wow. <laughs> Be sure to hit these people up. Let them know that Do You Nerds sent you. And thank you guys <laughs> so much. Hey, leave some comments down below, especially about any of the cards. What's your house? Did you collect the Mario coins? What do you think of Little Link? And is Tiffany and Willy Wonka the it couple for the next year? What kind of baby would that look like? <laughs> Don't forget to like us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Go over to Tee Public because we've got merchandise over there. Hit us up on the Retro Refresh, and if we like it... We nerd it. For a lot of links. Cricket, 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 cricket. Shut up, crickets! Oh, you just made them louder. Do you want a dragon to eat you? That's right. Probably because we're just so upset. Exec Ready? Not the um, Edward Scissorhands. Johnny Depp. Johnny Depp. Okay, ready? And Cubert. Cubert? What the heck's wrong with me? <laughs> All right, Look, well. He's, he's got a little shield. He does have a little shield. That's so cute. You ready to close it? Yes. <laughs>